This is too much. This is a lot, like, and it's such a coincidence, even though I don't believe in coincidences, that I was just talking about the girl. Like, I've never watched Infamous Sylvia until that Tasha K interview, and then I just so happened to talk about her, you know what I mean? And then the next day, she got arrested. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. She got arrested while covering the YSL trial. To top it all off, there is big networks there like Law and Crime Network, um, Court TV. Um, what's the other one? There's a there's a lot I could mention that I watch. And I, I'm not too crazy about the YSL trial. Like, I really don't care. So, but, um, <laughs> apparently the Law and Crime Network knows infamous Sylvia. You know, they see her daily at the YSL trial. And, um, they got the recording of her getting arrested in court and I heard that the people who run the Law and Crime Network channel was actually typing in the damn chat that infamous Sylvia just got arrested. <laughs> what? You know I had to do my digging, okay? I had to really research this bitch. I'm like, who is this bitch? This bitch has been trending for 48 hours straight, okay? I mean, this is unheard of, okay? She really manifested infamous. This lady is infamous right now. I tell you. And... And it, is it just me or does she remind me of Tasha K? She's giving me baby Tasha K. I mean, just the the things that are coming out, the recorded conversations that are coming out. Okay, so she gets arrested for trespassing. In stocking, she had an air tag on this man, Dana J. He has two lazy eyes, okay? And she put an air tag in this man's vehicle, okay? Sounds like someone's hunching. Someone's fucking, okay? Um... Why the fuck are these two, like, so embroiled in each other? They, from what I've heard, they both have been putting TPOs and restraining orders against each other back and forth for three to four years. Now, I'm so glad I caught the tea before these YouTubers, these content creators who say they're holding Sylvia accountable and her actions and that this is some ratchet shit for an old lady. And they're putting these videos on private. They're deleting the videos. They're deleting their lives. Like, why are you doing that? Why are you putting it to members only like why are you doing that like i just think that's weird like that's weird like i don't know i don't know that's why when people say oh there's other people talking about this too like exposing it yeah but then the next day or the next two hours it's gone so um <laughs> I think that's weird. Anyways, Dana J is an R. Kelly supporter and 
So is infamous Sylvia, okay? There's a gang of these R. Kelly supporters when this whole documentary and the trial was going on with R. Kelly. It was a big thing. So, um, I guess... I don't know if these people know, but he is indicted. He's in prison. He has been sentenced. There is no free <laughs> R. Kelly, okay? There is no other evidence. There is no finding him not guilty. He's been found guilty several times, okay? In, in different cases, in different states, on several counts, okay? There is no free R. Kelly right now, so... I just don't understand the delusion, okay? So the fact that these two hooked up is not far from the truth, okay? And I just feel like, oh shit, what the fuck? And I just feel like Sylvia manifested this happening to her because she's constantly getting in contact with these criminals and trying to be in their lives. She was trying to be, um, what's the girl's name? Not, what's the bitch's name? Sonia. She was trying to be her friend. Like, I think she wants to be Sonia. I really do. Um... Sylvia is too old to be doing this shit, and the people, the the pops, and all these men arguing with her, y'all are too old to be doing this shit. Like, the fact that you are in the courtroom because of YouTube, that is ridiculous. And you wonder why this generation, the new generation, 20 through 30, are single. Because of the parents, look at the parents out here running crazy. I mean, what the fuck? And I don't know what the fuck, who she was talking to on this recording. But um, I heard the recording when she was talking to, sounds like another R. Kelly fan delusion. Sounds like he knows she's obsessed with R. Kelly, so I'm going to you know, sell her dreams and let her know that I know R. Kelly and I was around him and I'm not around him no more because I was actually trying to save him from his self. So people just, you know, they wanted to be yes men and they outcasted me and, and it was just an odd conversation. And then she started bringing up her, her husband and her marriage and how she went to Uganda to find a man. And she says she married him, not because she's in love with him, but because she felt bad for him. Um, he wanted better for his family, so he wanted to come to America. And so she says she felt used, which I don't know why you knew what it was from the beginning. And um, he got a green card, and she says they don't sleep together. They don't fuck each other. She fucks herself. And, you know, they were very flirty. And I guess she tried to backtrack and booty pop, and she tried to say <coughs> that she was acting, child. She tried to say that I was acting because I needed to get information out of him. I needed to make him feel comfortable. Um, she said in the call, I don't know you at all. And then proceeds to tell her fucking business. And then she said something like, I don't trust my daughter around my man. That spooked the fuck out of me. I was like, wow, like you're a weird bitch. So, I mean... Sylvia has issues. I mean, I heard that she was in the parking lot outside of the courthouse and got into it with the lady. She got charged with battery and the charges were dropped, supposedly. 
But um, you have a running with the law too, ma'am. And it's over delusions. It's, it's over something that's not going to happen. <laughs> R. Kelly is not getting out. You know? Just like people thought Tory Lanez was going to be found innocent. He didn't. He's found guilty. That's why nobody's talking about it no more. There's nothing you can do. He's guilty. He's been sentenced. He's in prison. He's sitting right now. <laughs> R. Kelly's been sitting for a while, okay? He has besties in that bitch. So, um, why would you keep risking you, your life, your peace? Your family's peace. You got your daughter on the internet acting crazy. And it's just like, wow. You know, how selfish. Sylvia is a selfish lady. And her story sounds just like Tasha K. Tasha K went to Nigeria and got her man. Right? Remember? Yeah. She got the buzz cut just like Tasha K. It's a lot. It's a lot. And Tasha K tries to get close to <clears throat> women she wants to be. And then low-key know their business. Try to act like you're for them. And then they fall out. You know, thank God Sonya knew what it was from, from the jump. That's why you heard her talking shit. And telling Ernesto, you know how slow you are and that you're just basically doing whatever the fuck she wants you know so um <clears throat> I don't know how the fuck how the that recorded call with that man got out that was very creepy and you know I don't feel for, for Sylvia I, I really don't you're old enough to know better, okay? And that leads me into just like, you see what's going on with Monique? You know, the gaslighting. You know, as these older black women get older into their early 60s and their late 50s, they want to try to portray this victim role, like this godly my sweet babies. Oh, praise the Lord. You you know how, um, what's the bitch's name? Sylvia. She tries to talk with that soft voice. It's some gaslighting bullshit. Moni, she tries to talk with that voice, but then on stage, when she was cussing out D.L. Hughley, like, to me, it, it's very traumatic when Monique is on stage and the way she talks so hard and curses, it sounds like a mammy, like an independent, black, mad, middle-class mom. Excuse me. <coughs> you know, that's what it sounds like when Monique does stand-up comedy. And, um... Sylvia has that in her too. Okay, but um do you see how Monique son is a little delayed when it comes down to being a man with his mother? And what I mean by that is when he exposed the text messages he was chasing after her because for a man, the mother is their first love. And he was chasing after her and he kept, she kept blowing him off. So Monique's son was calling her mommy. I don't know a grown man in their thirties calls their mother mommy. Man, I know some dudes who may do that. But for men, they may call their mo their their mom, what's up, ma? Mama, my dudes, mother, or something like that. 
but never mommy. Okay, mommy. And it's just like, I don't know. And it's like, you want her attention so bad. He was telling her like random shit. Oh, I got a rare sweating disease. Because he just wants some type of attention from her. And that's some sad shit. You know, and I can only imagine what the fuck. Because he, he says he has a girlfriend. So I can only imagine what him and his girlfriend's relationship is like. You know, that's how these black men start hating us black young ladies. Because of the mothers like Monique. And God knew what he was doing when he didn't give infamous Sylvia a son. Okay? God knew what he was doing. If infamous Sylvia had a, a son instead of a, a female or a daughter... Oh, Lord. She would be making all types of excuses. I mean, look at what she's doing about R. Kelly. Oh, he's sick. He's sick. And you knew he was sick. Why didn't you help him? R. Kelly is a sexual demon, okay? And she agrees with that, but she keeps... I don't know. You're crazy if you keep sticking up for R. Kelly. Like, you're fucking delusional. And I don't want you nowhere over here. Like, gee shit. And the fact that you have a daughter, like, I don't know. Like, Sylvia's just a weird ass bitch. Like, a pygmy, like I said. And, you know, it just reminded me. Of Monique and her son. That's some sad shit. She is trash. She is trash. I did feel bad for the bitch. I'm not going to lie. Because, you know, we want our black women to get their flowers before they die and shit. <clears throat> but she kind of, I thought this was going to be her comeback. But her own son blew it. And this is the year for Exposed. I keep trying to tell y'all, if you are doing something bad or you know is wrong in your life, it's going to come out. Yeah. Okay, so please remember I said that. Hope you had a good Valentine's Day, you know. Don't be a hating ass bitch, okay? Be glad for the next bitch.